Welcome, and more importantly, hello. I'm Sam of Roll and D2 Games, and I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you a first look on how to use the upcoming ruler designer, which will allow you to choose any playable ruler in any bookmark and customize them however you see fit. To begin, simply select a bookmark and press the new and improved play any ruler or create your own button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Now select a ruler you want to usurp and replace with your finest or most worrying creations. Then click on create custom ruler in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and say goodbye to Athelred or Albert or Alfred or whatever other generically named Anglo-Saxon king you're condemning. And here we have the foundation for your perfect new Crusader Kings 3 ruler. To start things off we'll look at the left hand menu that deals with your character's background, faith, culture and coat of arms. You can start with either a male or female character and any of the game's sexual orientations. In the faith category, you can choose anything from Baltic Vidalism down to mil mil Paganism or something like Mazdeazna under the Zoroastrian category. We're going to start as a pagan this time around so we get plenty of friends. Culture, you can choose again anything from Akan all the way down to Yoruba and everything else in between. We're going to start as, ah, a nice Roman. You can choose any first name or dynasty name that you like, but if you're really struggling for names, you can hit the randomize button, which will pull a cultural name out of the bank for you. Germanus. Germanus Valentinian. This is Anglo-Saxon England, after all, so of course I've gone for King Germanus and Albertson Valentinianson of Kingdom of England. You can then randomize your dynasty coat of arms to whatever you choose. I'm going to go for a lovely, ooh, the big hand. And you can also randomize your kingdom's coat of arms as well to the sad moon. You don't have to pick the sad moon, but I, I quite like the sad moon. The right hand side of the screen is dedicated to your in-game mechanics, such as traits, skills, and starting family members. The biggest mechanic here, outside of your in-game stuff of course, is your customization points bar. And this introduces two new features when compared to the Crusader Kings 2 ruler designer that I know a lot of people are going to be very, very happy about. The first thing, of course, is that if you stay within the 400 points limit here, you can actually play with achievements enabled with a custom ruler or a custom dynasty. Now, that also means if you're not interested in achievements and if you're not interested in playing Iron Man mode, you can spend as many points as you like making the ultimate character. 100 in each stat, every trait, the perfect education, whatever you see fit. There are no limitations on this one when compared to the Crusader Kings 2 ruler designer. I'm going to do my best here to design a character that is within that 400 points limit so you get an idea of how much flexibility you get when aiming for achievements and also creating a custom dynasty. Now with the age bar you have a choice of either making your character older and in turn gaining more customization points in exchange for the less years you'll have on this fine earth or going the opposite direction and making yourself far younger in turn gaining more customization points but being tasked with the daunting medieval prospect of trying to survive childhood. It's also worth pointing out that if you do start at the age of Babby, you will lose your education trait, so that's something you will have to pay close attention to when you get into game. With the weight bar, you can set your character to everything from do do thank you Mr. Skeletal all the way up to fetching the breastplate stretcher. And if we come down to the trait section, you can start to customize your character's education and backstory. We're going to go with Brilliant Strategist as our starting character, and I think we're going to make him a lustful lazy, wrathful king. Now you can choose any number of personality traits as long as they don't conflict with the traits that you've already chosen. So in this case, we couldn't choose chaste, for example. In the other traits section, we can choose everything from lifestyle perks, blade training, down to inheritable traits. Well, I'm going to choose Hale, I think, for our starting guy. And then if after all that careful planning, your character is still terrible, poor, or terrible in certain stats, you can manually bump them up in exchange for some customization points. And if you really don't want to leave anything to chance, in the family section you can start married with, with a couple of sons for example. So for 393 customization points coming in just short of the 400 needed for achievements, we've got ourselves a average diplomat, a good martial character with an inheritable trait, a great education, and more importantly, sons to be able to carry on that family legacy. And that my friends is absolutely everything. Or is it? A 3D era of Crusader Kings 3 requires a 3D character designer worthy of all the fine maidens, handsome heroes, and large-chinned monstrosities you can dream of. In the bottom of the screen, there is the Change Appearance button, which will allow you to fully customize your character's appearance. To start off with, you choose with a base ethnicity here. I was very disappointed to learn that Arctic is not, in fact, a polar bear, but it's, in fact, a very chilly boy. Pressing the customize further button will allow you to define every aspect of this character's anatomy. And you can get into some intensely fine detail here, determining the depth of their mouth corners, or you can even have them commentate your video for you. In the starting body category, you can adjust your body fat, 
you can adjust your bust size, which is only visible for women, unlike in real life. And you can also change the height of your character. Oh, no. <laughs> and you can vary your character's skin color and complexion to your heart's content. Facial structure is perhaps the most dense of all the options available to you, giving everything from chin definition to forehead angle to jaw definition. I'm going to just quickly quickly do one of those there you are my friend eye colors range from a milky white to a brother murdered my entire clan red and then as the finishing touches on the perfect man you can give him an incredible fresh look ready for court i'm thinking no <laughs> no hair for added aerodynamics on the battlefield followed up by a beard that reeks of authority a mighty wizard's beard and from a modding perspective, one of my favorite new features is the ability to share the perfect character with your friends or maybe worst enemies in this case. We can then finalize our perfect man ready to take on the Crusader King's world. Outside of creating horrible monstrosities, you can create some very impressive looking and regal characters for your game. I know personally at least that I'm very much looking forward to seeing what you guys create with the ruler designer update coming soon for free to crusader kings 3 so get out there start designing start creating both good and terrible thank you all for watching of course big thanks to paradox for giving me the opportunity to share this with you guys in the first place and as a reminder get yourself subscribed here on youtube so that you can keep up with all of the future updates and content for crusader kings 3